Stop grabbing the golf club like it's a hammer and learn how to hold it so you can use it properly. I'm gonna share with you today my 45 degree grip system that can get the golf club in your hands perfectly every single time. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, and the first place I always look when I give a golf lesson is how does a student hold the golf club? Because it literally dictates and determines everything that happens in the golf swing. Now, I've developed a system, it's called the 45 degree grip system. Now, why do I call it 45 degrees? And this is the most important thing I'm gonna tell you here today, so listen up. When you get ready to place your hands on the golf club, Position the golf club up at a 45 degree angle. Zero, 90, 45. Now why is this important? This is at the heart of what we're gonna talk about today. When the club is at a 45 degree angle, you can see it right here from down the line, it positions the grip, the handle, at an angle so you can place it correctly in the hand. Most people do something like this. They put it at zero, or they go like this. Okay, now when you put the club at this angle, this is probably you, pay attention, because this is you might be doing this, the club wants to go up into the palm. This is killer number one. When the club gets too much into the palm, you can't leverage it, you can't hinge it, you got no speed, you got bad contact, it is a recipe for disaster. So that's why we call it the 45 degree grip system. So let's keep moving. So 45 degrees, I'm gonna hold it in my dominant hand. That's my right hand. Now also, when I hold it, okay, I'm gonna kinda hold it down here in my fingers. See how I'm doing that? We'll do it from down the line there. See how you can kinda, I'm holding it in my Dominant hand, but it's also down on my fingers. It's not up here in my palm, it's down on my fingers. Now, the top hand, all right, the lead hand, you're gonna position it so the pad right here sits on the top, and then it runs diagonal at that 45 degree angles across the hand so it exits right at about, okay, right here on my index finger, it exits about the middle knuckle, you see that? and then you can go ahead and close it around. This is why the 45 degree system is so simple, because it literally positions the club in the exact spot. Now once you've got it there, the only thing you gotta do is on the, on the lead hand, make sure the thumb is snug and it's also short. See that? Snug and short. Now what a lot of you do is this, okay? Especially if you wear gloves out a lot. If you have a golf club and you're like, man, I play like two or three rounds, or I hit a bucket of balls and I get a wear spot on my glove and I'm buying new gloves all the time, listen up, this is for you, okay? You've got what we probably call a long thumb. See the difference there? That's a long thumb. When the club, when the thumb is long, the club wants to move around in the hand. So shorten it up and get it tight, all right? So that's the lead hand. Everybody with me on that? Now, hey, if you got questions, this can be confusing. I understand it can be confusing. Put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer every single one of those. And, and do me a favor, hey, subscribe to the channel. We're just a couple guys from the Midwest here. My buddy Nick and I, we're shooting videos. We've been doing this for 13 years. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell and tell a friend about us. But, all right, so that's the lead hand. Now, the trail hand is gonna work very similar. You're gonna go ahead and position it so it's kinda down in the fingers, right? And this pinky right here, you're just gonna overlap it like so. That's my preferred grip for most golfers. It overlaps. Now, you can interlock it and do some different things, and we've done some videos on the different styles of grip, but today we're talking about the 45 degree grip system. So you're gonna do the overlap, and you're gonna hold it in the fingers, okay? And I'm gonna give you one magic tip here at the end. But the bottom hand, the right hand, is also you're gonna kinda of have that shorter thumb, and it's gonna be snug, see that? Now a lot of you do this, you get a long thumb there again, this is killer. That long thumb is killing it, all right? So shorten it up just a little bit right there. And then here's the magic tip that you've been sticking around for. This is called the trigger finger. Notice on my bottom hand, my index finger right here, there's just a tiny bit of separation, you see that? Tiny bit of separation right there. A lot of you might do this, see how it's, you want just a little bit of separation. Now what does that do for you? Well, let me show you. So when we're set in here, when I've got that little bit of separation, we call that the trigger finger. I've got, what that does is that allows you to hinge the club a little bit, set it. Ooh, that felt good. Set it and release it a little bit, all right? Going back to what we were talking about a little bit earlier there. When you get the club and you get a long thumb, right? You get a long thumb like that and you get a long thumb. This is, goes back to my first comment. You're holding it like a hammer. 
okay? Don't do that, all right? So if you wanna make good golf swings, you gotta hold the club correctly. The 45 degree grip system can help you do just that.